slow. They need to pick up the pace. What does she know about it? They're coming along just fine, Mr. Grody. Well, remember, girls, you gotta keep that pace up. And Nelly, I got another job for you when you're through there. Well, Steve, bring in the chairs so we can set the tables here up. Sure thing, Jack. Nelly, have those new tablecloths arrived yet? No, they haven't, Mr. Gordy, but the tables haven't been fixed yet either. Still wobbly? Need bigger screws. Hey, Steve, we got bigger screws anywhere. Hey, Jake, we need your signature on that shipment of feathers this afternoon. Feathers? I didn't order any feathers. Yeah, feathers for the girls' new costumes. All right. They said they'll be bringing them sometime today, and uh, choose for the girls and numbers should be coming in time. All right, all right. Oh, here's those other bills we need to take a look at. Bills, bills, bills. Oh, come on, girls, let's keep rehearsing. Oh, Jake, there's something to ask you. Um, we've got these two songs. Which one do you want to open with? Let's see. Uh, I like that one. Yeah, do that one for the opener. Okay, sure. Nellie, I want you to get the hallways and the bathrooms when you're through there. What are you doing anyway? Yeah, Nellie, maybe you need to pick up the pace. Well, Mr. Gordy, you know that bathtub Jenny everybody likes? I can clean up that bottle of you dropped this morning. You gotta get that stuff up real fast, or you'll hold right to the floor. Uh, all right. Are you up there now? Yeah, I'm up there. Get to the hallways in the back. Oh, Nelly. Oh. Uh, can you take these into the office? Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, hey, Jake. What does this go to? Oh, where'd you find the ski? I was above the rough yesterday when I was cleaning out the cellar. Hey, do you know the other day when we were in the basement? Uh, we tore down that wall and found the safe? Maybe that's where this key fits. Could be. Well, just put it on the reservation stand and I'll check it out later. Hey, girls, have you had a chance to work on the new number I gave you yesterday? It's coming along just fine, Mr. Cody. Yeah, well, it's got a long way to go. Would you like to see it? We could run through it for you now. Ah, sure, we got time. You won't like it. <laughs> Yeah, real party. You open it next week? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we keep to the schedule. So what can I do for you guys? You did Grody? That's me. Well, Mr. Grody, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Chuck Hall, and this is my associate, Mr. Holiday. We're like selling insurance. Not interested. Sit around. Like I said, sure got a swell joint here. Yeah. It'd be a shame if anything happened to it. Yeah, real shame. Like a fire at Chain Wing's laundry? Or the explosion at the Robinette Bakery? Or the robbery at Steinberger's Delicatessen? There you are, the shame. Yeah, you said it. Look, I told you guys, I'm not interested in your type of insurance. I can't afford it. Look, the way I figure, Mr. Grow, you can't afford not. I mean, I understand what's been going on in the neighborhood lately. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. See, we provide protection for these accidents that's been happening in our business series lately. And pause about it. <laughs> and just read this and sign up about a line. Look, what do I have to do to get your mugs to understand I'm not interested? I get lost. All right. <laughs> Look, we're just businessmen. We ain't see any business without protection. Just want to save you some trouble, that's all. Uh, don't worry about me. Look, I'm busy now, okay? See you around. Sure, sure thing. I suggest you think about it. You're around, you new in town? Well, yes, just around an hour ago. Well, yeah. What's your name? Susan, Susan McQueen. Oh, where are you from? A uh, small town you've never heard of. I've been to a lot of places. I know. I know a lot of small towns. What's the name of yours? Linden, Utah. <laughs> You're right. Never heard of that before. What big city is it close to? Provo. No? Salt Lake. <laughs> Denver. Yeah, yeah, I've been to Denver. I just arrived about training an hour ago, and I'm looking for a job. I haven't even found a place to live yet. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, tell you what. Uh, you try Miss Plenty. The boarding has to be young ladies. You know, just a block down the street. So it's the best breakfast in town. Oh, my name's Chuck Hall. Sorry. This is my associate, Black Holiday. Well, thank you, Mr. Hall. Oh, just call me Chuck. All right, Chuck. Are you the manager here? No, but I can show you where he is. Right down the hall over there in that office. You can't miss it. There's a purse. Is this yours? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, it is. Thank you so much. This is all the money I have to my name. If I lost it, I don't know what I'd do. You've been so kind and helpful. How can I ever repay you? Try to think of something. Goodbye. See you around. Yeah, see you around. Money. Can I do anything for you, sweetie? Well, yes. I'm here to see the manager. I'm looking for work. You come to the right place. There's plenty to do around here. That's good. Well, what can we do besides look pretty? I can sing. I'm an entertainer. Well, we're getting ready for the grand opening of Mr. Gordon's new place. He says he wants to make it better than it's ever been before. It is lovely. I don't know how I can make it better. When he wasn't here, he doesn't know what it was like before he got to town. Is Mr. Grody in his office now? Sure thing, right outside the door, just now. Er, thanks. Nellie's my name, Nellie Backwater. Thanks, Nellie. My name is Susan. Good luck, Nellie. Feathers, Lear. Excuse me, but are you Mr. Grody? Uh, yeah, that's me. What can I do for you? If it's about those feathers. Oh, no, sir. It's about, well, I'm looking for a job, Mr. Grody. A job? Uh, what can you do? I can sing. Look, we've already got the show together. I don't need any more singers. Sorry, I can't use you. But Mr. Grody, I have to find a job. I'm new in town and I don't even have a place to live yet. And Look, little lady, you might as well turn around and go back home. The city's no place for a nice kid like you. Well, if you're sure you can't use me, I'm a really good dancer and I can help in the office too. Uh, sorry. Goodbye. Thank you anyway, Mr. Grody. Too bad she had real class. Yeah, real class. Real class. Wait a minute, you might have something. You wouldn't know real class and punch him right in the eye. <laughs> Listen, little lady, we've 
want you to leave without even having an audition. Do you really mean it, Mr. Grady? Yeah, sure, sure. Here, I'll take your bags. Now uh, you stand right there. And uh, let's hear what you sound like. Uh, what do you want to sing? How about, look for tomorrow. Yeah, look for tomorrow. Hey, Lenny, you know look for tomorrow? Can we play it for the little gal? Can you be, please? Everyone looks forward to tomorrow. We know it will be better than today. There's magic in the word tomorrow. We'll find you hope and happiness, we say. Life will be so new and grand tomorrow. We'll feel so good, we'll think that we can fly. in the office, too. Yes, I work with my father in his general store. Well, let's try it. I can promise you five bucks a minute and three meals. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Grody. Thank you, thank you. When do I start? Right now. See what you can do with these bills. Bills? Not to worry over it. 
Don't you worry over it, Mr. Grody. No, I don't worry. Look, it's just a dime that doesn't gang, sir. I don't need a Mr. Pillow. Don't talk dirty to me. I gotta have some respect, you know. And uh just to show you. Get over here. <laughs> Come on. Stand here. Stay there. Alright. Now they all can see and watch the pretty fire. <laughs> I'll bring the marshmallows. <laughs> Tootsie. What's going on here? Uh, none of your business. But it is my business, you see. That's the Grody here, the client of mine. That would have been nice to watch you shoot us. Or burn the place down if he's a client, now would it? Uh, yeah, so, uh, tell me, Chuck. What you gonna do about it, huh? This. <gasps> alright, alright. Maybe there's been a little mistake. Oh, my God. Just be cool. I'm leaving for now. See ya, folks. Thanks, Chuck. You really oh, showed him. Yeah, that was so slow, Chuck. Chuck, you were wonderful. Ah, thanks, Chuck. I owe you a bucket. Come back to my office. Sure thing, Jake. Oh, Chuck. I don't know what to say. You had a look just like you should have been handled. You were really something. <coughs> thanks. Sure. Okay. Carrying the big torch, a lady. Does it show? It's been all over your face, honey. You couldn't have a nicer guy. If I didn't have my boyfriend, I'd even go after him myself. <laughs> Maybe we'd better pick up these costumes. Sure thing. What is this? Paper though. Oh, that's part of the reservation book. Just put it on the stand over there. What you got there, Pearl? Just a bad change looking key. I wonder what it's to. Oh, Jake says maybe it's that old room that closet over there. Um, better leave it there, honey. Jake will get the door if it's moved and he can't find it. Oh. <laughs> sure looks strange looking, isn't it? Reminds me of one of the sorted big plantation homes back home. Where is that home, Pearl? Monty, Georgia. Do you miss it? Oh, I miss the people. They're real nice folks, you know what I mean? But there's a lot more going on here in Chicago. I just love it here. How about yourself? No, I don't miss home too much. And I even love the people here. They're so, well, colorful. Colorful? I had a nose in because except a chain wing laundry. <laughs> Two different things. So, uh, 
and buy yourselves a new suit or something. Okay. And Jake, I want you to have it. Look, I got an errand to run. I'll see you in a while. What do we do now, Chuck? Don't know, pockets? Don't know. Well, what do we tell Big Al? Well, what do we tell him about the money? <laughs> we don't tell him about the money. But maybe we better call Big Al, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, now's our chance while no one's around. You go watch out the front door in case someone comes in. Okay. Give me 17 coins for a street. Big Al here, what you want? Big Al, this is Chuck. I just want to let you know that uh, everything's under control. But uh, Mr. Grody still won't buy. Being tough enough to crack won't buy, huh? Yeah. Did you just forget about this speakeasy? Forget it. Forget. Listen, pal. Big Al don't forget nothing, see? He's got a memory long as the Mississippi River, see? My advice to you is, you'd better figure out a way to get this Mr. Brody. You'd better darn well buy, or else we'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Okay, but it might mean lots of trouble. What do you want this place for anyway? Shut up and get the job done. Look, if you can't do it, I'll find someone else who can. All right, we'll find a way to do it. So long. Susan! Chuck, what was that all about? Wrong number? Who's Big Al? Big Al? He's my mother. Chuck, <laughs> are you working for Big Al? And I'll let one according to plan. Chuck, please be careful. Don't get involved with corrupt men. There's really no future before you. Besides, you're too nice a guy to do wrong to you. That's what I have to deal with. I'm going out with the girls this afternoon. We're going to a flick. I'll see you later, Chuck. Remember what I said. Does she know what she's doing to me? I'm no good for her. Why can't she see? I am right, and it's hard to know, does she know? I am happy being with the gang, no sweat, together we'll hang when we go. What's the offer? Just stolen goods. Friends and family. They bought your goods. Change? Me? Maybe I could. I don't know.
Yeah, what do you say about getting Mr. G side down? Find a way to do it. Find a way to do it, huh? Well, I guess it's time for a little of Uncle Barney's philosophy. Uncle Barney was a great guy. A brilliant guy. One of the best liked and respected of his, day, of his time. He had a million tricks up his sleeve. You know what I would know? He used to put me on his lap and tell me stories. Well, Uncle Barney, let's go see Uncle Barney. Can't. Can't. Why not? He's setting a life sentence on the rock. Oh. Yeah, pockets he used to say, there ain't nothing you can't get out of life if then you play a contract. Right? And then he told me stories of how he used to get out of difficult situations. Now the way I see it, Mr. Grubby is a real nice guy. And all he needs is a little persuasion to go more Yeah, she is a nice guy. I like her. <laughs> I mean, just a little friendly persuasion. Not big like that persuasion. Right? Now my uncle told me once about how he planned the bomb in the old lady's handbag. When he was the establishment seat, when they found it, and opened it up, BOOM! All you put Epic can't see up in chocolates. It won't kill them, but it'll make them wish they were dead. <laughs> was anyone hurt with the explosion? Oh, wait. Uh, no one's white, but a white shot. Yeah, white. As long as no one was hurt, where would we get a bomb? Well, that came on Saturday afternoon. My uncle Bonnie would take me down to the house and show me the stuff. I'll make the bomb drop it off to you, you put it in the lynch handbag, and right here. Yeah, yeah. But just as long as we do it while the girls are gone. Yeah, while the girls are gone. And if that don't wait, I put Aunt Cat's here for the chocolates, and then see what happens. Yeah.
I had a little son to raise and do something bad to worse. Well, how's I can do to put food on our table? Well, where's your son now, Nellie? Well, he's in the military academy and graduated from the honors. He's a fine boy. It's easy. You got to keep my secret. He doesn't know. He doesn't know you worked this hard to keep him there? Well, he doesn't. He must find out. Please don't want to name him who I was. Don't worry, Nellie. Your secret's safe with me. Thanks. I'm too old for this sort of thing anyhow. Best leave it to them youngins. Especially that Susan. She's such a dear girl. She reminds me of myself when I was her age. Well, I best get back to the room. Pinesler Street. Al here. Lady Alice is Chuck. Just wanted to let you know that everything's going according to plan. Good news, Chuck. Good news. Got a little surprise from Mr. G, huh? Yeah, surprise. We'll make a think twice about our green protection. Let me know the results. One of Pocket's ideas. But uh, instead of a handbag surprise, it's a package. I wanted to deliver myself. Go on site, then. No, no, it's Sammy. I'm leaving right now. Well, good work. I knew you'd get it done. So long. So long. Ah, hi there, Chuck. You still here? Didn't think I'd be gone that long. And where's Steve? He's in the kitchen. And the girls, where are they? They went to uh, grab a sandwich and taking a matinee. Ah, uh, that's good. They need a break. They've been working awful hard lately. An opening of a speakeasy isn't an easy job for anybody. They're great gals, all of them. Especially that Susan. Oh, I see her at the same opinion. You know, she's a nice kid, and all. Uh, more than that, Chuck. She's got class. Real class. Yep, she's one in a million. You shouldn't let her get away. <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard me, Chuck. She likes you. She likes you a lot. But she won't sell for anything but the best. Yes, that leaves me out. Uh, no, it doesn't. Listen, kid, you're not like those other mugs. You got a head on your shoulder. You just need to learn how to use it. Sit down. Go on. You ought to get out of that mob you're connected with. Hmm. Mob? What mob? I know what you're talking about. I tell you, they're no good, pal. And I'll try it, huh? You'll never win at that game. I ain't playing no game. This is reality. Believe me, there's no future in it. A future? Yeah, I know. I was just a young punk. Didn't know much. I was thinking to better myself. Then one day I got involved with the wrong crowd. Before I knew it, I was in over my head. Didn't know how to get out. Promised me a big, bright future. Ma tried to talk some sense into me, but I wouldn't listen. Seems difficult, too. Then my kid brother, following in his big brother's footsteps, got involved with the same gang. Yeah, yeah, family affair. Only not as lucky. Chuck, he's only 26 years old and doing time for crime, you have nothing to do with. Just about broke the old lady's heart. I imagine. Promised I'd make it up for somehow. So when my uncle left me this place, I figured it was my one big chance to make it right. That's why I don't want to get involved with any mob insurance protection, Chuck. I don't want to get mixed up with any of those kind of guys. Do you see? Do you understand? Jake, I do see. You have to do the same thing while you're as young as you are. Liked, but it ain't easy. Hey, nothing or anything is easy, pal. You gotta work hard for the things you really want. You gotta find yourself an odd shop and settle down with that little suit. You gotta make it work, Chuck. You gotta make it happen, or else you gotta do it yourself, Chuck, without any other's help. Sometimes it gets kind of tough And you want to throw it away But you gotta think of the end, Chuck And know it will 
happen one day when you make a promise or two. There's only one thing to do. You gotta make it work, Chuck. You gotta make it happen or else you gotta do it yourself, Chuck, without any other's help. Sometimes it just can't be done and you wanna throw it away. But you gotta think of the end, Jake, and know it will happen one day. When you search for something new, and you know it's all up to you. I gotta do it myself, Jake? You gotta make it happen or else. I gotta make it work, Jake? You gotta make it work. Sometimes it gets kinda tough. And you wanna throw it away, but you gotta think of the end, pal. And I know it will happen one day. When you make a promise or two, there's only one thing to do. You gotta make it work, pal. You gotta make it happen or else. You gotta do it yourself, pal, without any other's help. Yeah. Straight.
On your right, you'll have the women's and men's restrooms. Continue along the corridor, you'll find yourself to some refreshments. Uh, we ask that you not go for these, Hearns, because the girls are kind of excited. Oh, Mary, you're <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Please follow me. Real nice. By the time somebody is up with this joint, it's got real class. 
I'm here to let you know I'll be coming here often to show support. Yes, sir, that's my motto. Support the newcomers in town. Because with them come new leaders, new ideas, new blood. I talk a lot of tuppy. Like I said, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, sure. See you tonight. What do you think you wanted, Jake? Yeah, it's hard to tell. Just keep your eye open tonight, right? Sure thing, Jake. Uh, I don't think I like him. I agree with you, honey. There's something about that man that just reminds me of the alligator in the swamp. Jake's Corner. To start off the entertainment for tonight, I'd like to welcome the girls of Jake's Corner. Billy, Tootsie, Mitzi, and Pearl. Thank you. 
for you is a newcomer to town. She's a great little gal with a big voice. Please welcome Miss Susan McQueen. Right to be. And I know you don't understand everything that's going on right now. 
but please, you got to trust me. I'm trying to do the right thing. you got to hold this key for me. Please, it's very important. I can't have anyone find it on me. Please, you got to trust me. Hey, Chuck, come here. I don't want any part of this. Can you hold this for me now? <laughs> what? No! Mac. It's called a cat. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Won't kill you, well, but sick you'll be. I see. You see? I see, I see. Oh dear. I don't feel so well today. I think I'll jump in the bay. Help him! I don't feel so well today. Get out of my way! It's all right. Down. Pockets? Yeah. What we could have? Yeah. What we could buy? Yeah. I'm not expect. Yeah. Wait, I'm trying to inspect them. Who's there? You know what these diamonds? I could be rich beyond my wildest dreams. You could have a big house and one of them fancy cars. Yeah. I could. Don't seem important anymore. They don't? No, I don't. I've done something more for you. Something I've waited for all my life. Yeah? It's you, Susan. You'll have me. Play me. <laughs> well, if this isn't the day we've heard for and waited for for years, to look from old guts to loan and the goods on Big Al, he'll be spending 10 to 20 on the rock for that one. <laughs> and 10 to 20 in the bathroom. <laughs> Just goes to show you can do anything if you try hard enough. You can do 